hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be doing um my chicken alfredo um recipe um just to let you guys know i did get um well i didn't copy their recipe but um i did kind of get ideas from their recipe um i watched the mo money's um chicken alfredo recipe and then i also did the event xo so i kind of mixed both of them and then made my own and then um with the seasonings on the chicken then that's my own as well i don't do the same as they do so first thing is first i'm gonna show you guys the ingredients that way you guys know what to use so um let me show you so we're, you're gonna need pasta I got, um, I usually make two bags just because, um, just because there's a lot of us in my family. So, like, if my brother comes over and his girlfriend and then, like, if my cousin comes over or whatever. So, I'm making this pasta, the fettuccine, but I like to mix it in with linguine, this one right here. So, I use both of those. And then you're going to need natural heavy cream. So I do know that there's some people that use the um, half and half. I think it just depends on the, um, obviously the leche that you like. Um, this is obviously going to be more delicious because it's more fattening, but I, I'm going with this. So I'm, I got three of these. And then you're going to need Parmesan cheese. You can get whatever Parmesan cheese you like, but um, since I've been doing it with this, um, with this cheese, I, just, I guess I'm just used to it. You're going to need garlic cloves. Um, I'm using four. Butter or whatever you like, like any type of butter, you know what I mean? And then these are the seasonings that I like to use. Pepper, lorry seasoning salt, and garlic salt. Um, I also like to use the lemon pepper, but since I'm kind of running low, I'm like, eh, I'll just use the garlic salt, who cares? And then obviously you're going to be needing pollo. Um, I took it out because it was frozen. So, um, yeah, so that, that's what you're going to be needing as your ingredients. Um, so first thing is first, I'm going to start with the pasta. Since it does kind of take a while to cook, um, you're going to get an olla. And I already got my olla right here with agua. And I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to put it on high. I'm going to put it on high. And I like to sprinkle a little bit of the garlic salt. Um, you can wait till it's hot. I just do it right now. I, I, it doesn't really matter. Um, just like that. I don't have measurements just because I just, I don't. So I do let it get hot to put the pasta in. So we have that. And then what I like to do is Usually I do the sauce at the end because since the chicken kind of takes a while to cook también. Um, so I'm going to be doing the chicken. I'm going to put the camera down so you guys can see what I'm doing and how I'm cutting it. Um, and for the chicken, all I use is um, this right here. And aceite on the pan, obviously. So I'm going to um, put the camera down so you guys can see all the steps. And I'm going to fast forward that. That way you guys don't get bored, okay? So I decided just to show you guys how I season it um, with regular time, just because if I do time lapse, luego no van a saber, okay? So I grab the chicken. Y I'll start with one, just like that. Ya le quité todo el fat that I didn't want. Um, you can get chicken breast or whatever you like, whatever you want, like you can get the thin one también. Um, so what I like to do is I like to cut it dry. I don't really like how it feels all wet and shit. It should look nasty. And FYI, I did wash my hands before freaking cooking. No piensen que no, because you guys are stupid as fuck. You guys were probably in a freaking comment. As you guys can see, I already had my first hater. So, so I see. Then you can grab a knife, whatever type of knife you like. Obviously, one that's, um, that's, um, that's sharp. So I like to grab it. Y luego I cut it like this. I make it thin. So it, it should look like this. You see? Super thin. 
So like that. And I do that to all of them. So I buy a paquete at um, Food for Less of the um, full chicken breast. Y luego así yo las hago cut. So just like that. And keep cutting all of them. And let's see. Just cut them from the half. Um, almost done. I like to cut them first in half, y luego um, from there, like once that they're cooked, then I start cutting them like in in little pieces. So just like that. So right now I'm just cutting them how I showed you in the beginning. So sorry, saucy. Um, oh, this looks nasty. Just kidding, but it tastes bomb. So just like that. Then what I'm going to do, I'm gonna prep my pan. So I'm using this pan right here. And I am going to put it on high. I'm gonna turn on my fan. Sorry if you guys can't hear it, but for glow I'll let hella nasty. So what I do is I put it in a bowl or a olla, whatever. So since I use this olla, I'm going to do the same to um, just put it in here. So put all your pieces of pollo on the pan. So, so this is just so you can mix everything, like all the, all the, ¿cómo se llama? So that, this step is just so um, all the seasonings can mix together. And, um, yeah. So aquí tengo la olla with all the chicken. And I'm going to start off with um, Lori seasoning salt. Y le voy a echar, um, here, I'm going to show you guys. So le voy a echar like that much. And then um, I'm just going to mix it. Make sure that todo el pollo tenga um, seasoning. So just like that. And you see it starts to look like a little bit orangey. So see. Then I do a little bit more. So this is seasoning salt. For some reason, this gives it such a good flavor. So just to see. Pat it, pat it with love, beach. Just kidding. Okay, so I'll see. And just again, as we'll see. Then we're gonna go in with the black pepper. I use this one. I think I got it at um, Food, Foods Go. So you're just gonna throw the pepper in there. And todo, 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 todo. We love pepper. We love the um, como huele and like how it tastes. It makes the food taste super good. So just like that, mix it, massage it. You know, like that. I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper. I really need to get myself like alguien que me grabe because no man is. It's hard when you're trying to do it with one hand. And then lastly, we're gonna use um, the garlic salt. So I got this big one at Costco. And just like that. So remember that you already put the lorries and that is salt. So just try to be poquito menos de este. This is just to give it that um, garlic taste. So así, you see how the chicken's starting to look again. Bien bonito. So just like that. So your chicken is ready to, to be cooked. Yo nada más le pongo así. Um, you can obviously, you can do more things. You don't have to just put that. I mean, I know that there's some people who like to um, cook grilled onions primero y luego poner el, um, um, y luego poner el chicken to cook. But I'm not gonna do that. So 
I'm gonna put aceite on the pan and I use this one right here, the masola. Um, oh my God. Hold on, mama. So you grab your aceite and you put some on your pan, just like that. And then, um, here, let me take out Mia because uh, she's gonna be all Chiona. So she is watching cartoons, but I guess I can't. So she was drinking her teta. Hi, princess. <laughs> Come on, mama. A ver. Let me see. Hey. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my. Well, that was that. She is wild. But anyways, okay, so ya le, ya le puse la aceita la pan. And it's on high, remember? So I'm gonna lower it down to six, to the number six. So that's like medium. So right now, since the water is already boiling for the, um, for the agua, for the pasta, I'll just throw in the pasta. Así. I don't like to cut it. I know some people like to cut it in half. I don't do that just because I like the whole long noodles and how you can twirl them and stuff. So, I'm gonna put my phone right here. So, okay. So then I'm gonna open this one también and I'm gonna throw, throw it in there también. So this one is the linguine one. I like to mix both of them because I like how, the way that, um, the way that it looks. And it tastes yeah. the same, it's just pasta. So just like that. And you're just gonna let your pasta cook by itself. Mia. Okay, so now for the chicken, we're just gonna lay it on there and um, let it cook. Um, I'll show you guys how it looks. So, um, yeah, yeah, cuando miren que se está poniendo um, like brown, you get what I'm saying, like this. Then you flip it, you just, I have it on number six. You just have to keep checking it. But um, you just kind of let them cook by themselves. So once you see it golden brown, I see to the where you can't really see the pink anymore. Like I'm sure you guys know how it looks like cuando el pollo todavía está crudo. So just like that, let it cook. Um, I like to finish doing the chicken um, y ponerlo on the side. Um, with the pasta that way I can just do the sauce because the sauce you kind of do need um, you kind of need both boys necesitas una hand you can't stop like moving the pan uh, the sauce porque si no se pega so I'll show you guys how the chicken looks like when it's finished okay okay you guys so then for the sauce you're gonna put your olla I have it right here um you're gonna put it on high so it can start getting warm Y luego ya le bajan like at six. So I'm gonna use this, um, can't believe it's not bud. And so usually if I have the barrita ones, the imperial butter, then I'll, I'll use that, I'll use one of those. So I know this, this is not a healthy recipe. So nada más van a agarrar así. And you're gonna put it on the pan. You're gonna let that, um, ay. You're gonna let that um let that melt. You can say So just like that. Yeah. So you're gonna let that que se resuelva bien, okay? And then you are gonna need garlic. So, por eso había sacado el otro, because I thought we didn't have any minced garlic, the one que ya está picado. If you know, um, it's, I kind of feel like it's better to use this one, porque if you use the other one, it stinks up your fingers super bad, y parece que ni se quita. So, just like that. I'm going to be grabbing another spoon, so I'm going to, um, yeah. She went to go lay down by herself. Okay, 
So I'm gonna be using, ya cuando mires que la butter está bien melted, like, it's like water, pues. Um, then what you do is, I'm gonna put una cucharada, like this much, the uh, minced garlic. Cause eso es lo que le va a dar el flavor a tu pasta. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do one and a half. I'm gonna do a little bit more. Para que um, tenga a lot of flavor. So I'll do that. And keep in mind, my pasta is still cooking. También la, el pollo, it's still being done. I do flip it occasionally, nada más pa, um, to check on it, make sure it's, no se me esté quemando. And I like my chicken to be crispy. I don't like it to be all, um, all freaking like, hold on. your butter and your okay so how you know that this is ready is cuando miras que el garlic el garlic tiene que estar uh, oh my god sorry you guys i'm using my phone i have a camera i just don't use it but es cuando miras que ya the garlic ya no se mira it has to be like kind of see through mama get out of here mia so that's when you will know that the um that the um that the little um butter and garlic is ready so so yeah right now we're just waiting for the chicken to be ready and the pasta i decided to start making the sauce that way everything could be ready at once so once you start seeing que um que the que the um the garlic is going see through then that's when it's ready so i add, decided to add a spoonful of butter because i i just felt like it wasn't enough and keep in mind all of these measurements this, this one's like for two boxes of pasta so this is for a lot of people so you might not need that much if you're just making it like for two okay so that is ready now the exciting part you're gonna use um, heavy whipping cream. We got this one, the natural heavy cream from Este Food for Less right here. And you're gonna need three of these. So if there, if you have the long ones, you could just use one and a half, but since no teníamos big ones, we're gonna use this one. So I just like to open them up and then you start pouring them up. So that's one. And make sure that it's in medium heat, like, and for me it's a number six y luego you pour the other one. Oh my god it's splashing everywhere so i see and one last one i like to make extra sauce um alfredo sauce porque um some people like to put extra on their pasta once it's finished some don't like that much sauce I have seen other people use half and half and también sale good. I mean, I feel like I've tried both of them and they're both really, really good. So I'm going to show you guys cómo se mira la sauce. What's going on, princess? Okay, so they have this sauce. So this is how the sauce is looking. The chicken should start looking um, a medium um, brown, golden. Um, I'm gonna finish this these chickens, and then I'm gonna add the rest of them, and I'm gonna start cutting them. 
So that's how the chicken looks. The pasta todavía no está. And then, so I like to use this bruchetta. There's no right or wrong, I feel. Like, use whatever you want. Who cares? Um, but just like that. And just let it cook on number six. Um, deja que hierva para que, um, para que you can add the cheese and all of that good stuff, okay? So this is how the sauce should be looking. That's how your chicken should be looking and the pasta should be cooking. So, así. So once I think that the pollo is ready, I like to just cut it to the middle. A ver que ya no esté rosita. I like that. Okay, so this one's good. I like to, um, Mia's right here. I'm trying to be a chef on the end. So I grab my my pan, this one right here. Not the pan, oh my god, it's the pinchitala. And I start taking out the chicken, like the ones that are ready. For example, este ya está listo, you see the inside? I cut them because either way you're going to cut the chicken. So, I see. All of these pieces are already ready. Esto también. And I just keep checking this to make sure que ya estén. And I, I like to stab them para chequear que ya no estén rositas adentro. So, you see that one seems ready. Okay. That one seems ready to eat. Either way, los vamos a cortar and we're going to put them again to cook. So, don't worry too much. So, like that. Como eso lo puse la papel y la libero en ver. I'm sorry if the noise is like all over the place. Pero I have the ¿Cómo se llama? The pinche fan on so it doesn't get um all smoky in here. So just put the rest of your chicken up there. That, and let that cook and as you guys can see this is how it is with cooking with kids like there's no way that it's hard it's hard to cook with kids because you know I'm making a big old mess over here with the soap it is but anyways you just cook your chicken hasta que esté este you let it cool down don't worry so much about it I use the same thing sauce for the pasta one trick that I learned and how you know when the pasta is ready is if you grab a piece and actually my man taught me this if you grab a, a pedacito and then you stick it to the wall and if it sticks that means that um, that means que ya está but if it doesn't then it's not ready so así se mira la la sauce. You see, you see when it starts to get these bubbles, it means que ya se ya quiere hervir. So then from there, you are gonna add your Parmesan cheese. So te dije que I was using this one. And I do one bag at a time. First I'll do one whole one. And you just wanna mix. Mix and mix. Mix.
so I just like to take like the pieces que miro que are like as you guys may know it's parmesan cheese that's aged cheese so it's like all uh, nasty <laughs> not nasty but you know what I mean like ugh. and then some of the how it should be looking the chicken needs to be nice and crispy the pasta is not done yet i just checked it then what you are gonna do is you are gonna let for that cook i like to take out the little um the little black pieces que viene con el minced garlic because i don't know why it's just like a i don't know so then i add half of the other parmesan cheese, well more than half, like three fourths. And just like that, then you mix it. And you literally just don't stop moving it. Um don't stop moving it so um so the cheese must have up and on the bottom of your pan. Just keep moving it in circles. Like that. And your chicken should be nice and crispy. Um, there's still a safe in there, so no se, um, what's it called? No se, no se hace like dry. But safe keeps it nice and moist. Because I know some, um, I just have a lot of chicken that is super dry and it's even hard to break into. So it's been like that. Sorry guys. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Yeah, when it's a picado el pollo. Yeah, the sauce is ready. I mean, you can add um, more cheese if you'd like. You can also add pepper. I like to add pepper as a piece of stomach. So I'll show you guys what the finished um, product looks like, okay? Okay, you guys, so this is how your chicken should look. Very golden brown, and then you just cut it in little slices. And that is how your chicken should look. This is how um, creamy the, um, the Alfredo um, sauce should look. You can throw in a little bit of um, pepper, black pepper, just to give it that um, a little bit of flavor. Sorry. So, así. Nada más poquito. And then just mix it con tu cucharita. Um, I'm sure there's like a better way to do this. I mean, this is just how I do it. Um, so do not come at me. This is how I do it my way. So I see it should be really thick. You need to make sure you taste it to see if I see like it is a cheesy or does it need more leche or more cheese. But to me, this is how I like it. This is how my family likes it. The pasta is ready. I'm going to drain that. And like I said, the chicken is ready. I'm going to drain the pasta and then we're going to put everything back in this pan. The same oil and everything. So this is the drain that I'm going to be using right here. I just put it on the sink. And then I grab my pasta. Make sure you be careful with that just because it's super hot. And then be careful with the black bowl. So just like that. You put it all there. And you let it drain. Just let that drain. Just like that. I let it, whoa. I let it drain for a little bit and then um, I'm gonna be putting it back in this pan. Um, that way it can have that same flavor. I do take away the, um, the stuff that I have on here, like the little burnt chicken pieces. Um, and I just put it to the side. 
obviously that's gonna be thrown away but the oil is still in the pan and it just depends how you want to eat it you can do the pasta and then the chicken on top and then salad on the side but we um i mean i only do that for lalo's plate so here i'm gonna show you i'm gonna try to do this and carry it at the same time so you put the pasta there and it's gonna start obviously making all this noise okay obviously it's on already so you see the pasta is nice and ready and it's pure long noodles so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your sauce turn off the pan already and then you're just gonna add it so just add your alfredo so add little by little i see and then mix mix it i see and you can have it on low for right now but you see this is how the pasta should be looking like super good <laughs> it smells hella like bomb so just like that it smells super good like you guys have no idea so just like that this is how the pasta is looking you mix it so that way the pasta can get um can get alfredo sauce all over and you can either throw in your chicken pieces or you can serve it um how i serve it to lalo so i'm gonna show you guys how i fix the plate um how i fix it for him and then how i add the chicken up this is how i like to fix it i just grab whatever salad i have i put breadcrumbs and then i put either ranch or caesar dressing just like that and i'm using this salad from taylor farms it's a caesar chop kit so just like that and then i go over here let me move this i'll go on this side I'll give my, get my tonsils, do a quick mix otra vez. You see, that's how it's gonna look. Then I grab the pasta. I'll put some on here. And you can you, you can also side it with um, garlic bread or something like that. We don't really like the, the garlic bread that much. So just like that. And then Lalo likes me to layer his chicken on top. So I will layer it like this. Just a couple pieces of chicken. Um, like that. And then you can always top it off with a little bit more of the um, Parmesan cheese. That's why we leave a little bit. Just like that. And voila! This is your plate, the comida, and it tastes super good. Um, here, I'm gonna have um, Lalo take a bite. All right, taste it. Good. Mm. Good. Mm. Mom. <laughs> Mia. was the recipe to the chicken alfredo um let me know on the comments down below what else you guys want to see i can make a lot of other things so thank you guys for watching and have a happy saturday